I have Christmas nails. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do this look that I did. You're going to need um, white nail polish to start off with. So I'm using this base coat. Then this is this brand is called Nina. I'm using China Glaze's um, base coat primer. I'm actually a really huge fan of um, Sally Hansen's Extreme Wear Nail Colors. And I'm using the red and green color in Red Cherry and Emerald City. Um, I'm using China Glaze, um, this red glittery color, and it's called Ruby Pumps. I'm using two nail art brushes, and I'm using a white one and a gold one. Oops, sorry. And the gold one is from Color Club. You can get that one at Sally's. And then, of course, when I'm done, I'm using um, the top coat from China Glaze also. So, here we go. Okay, so you're going to want to start off with a clean nail. Make sure there's no nail polish or anything bumpy on it because you want it to be completely smooth. And I'm starting with my China Glaze Strong Adhesion Base Coat. I'm going to let it dry. And the base color that I'm using is going to be white, so I'm going to take my white nail polish. Uh, the brand is Nina. For some reason this white color is kind of clumpy so it takes me a little bit. I gotta get a new one. I don't recommend that brand. Then I'm gonna take the Sally Hansen Extreme uh, colors, the cherry red is the color, and I'm going to create a diagonal line and then with a brush and then fill it in. But this one I actually want to be um, a thicker line, so I'm going to go ahead and drag it out to make it thicker and do the same thing. I'm going to fill it in. And for the cherry red, I'm going to use two coats. I think that going over the white makes the color stand out a lot more than if I were to just do it over my clear nail. I'm going to take the Emerald City color, which is also from Sally Hansen, the same brand, the Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom. I'm going to leave a little bit of white in the center, uh, but not too thick. Um, I think I actually want the white to be a little bit thinner, so I'm going to go back and just, there we go. I thickened the green. And then I'm going to go add my second coat. When I'm finished with that, I am going to take the Ruby Pumps, and that is a China Glaze color. And I'm going to put a couple coats over the cherry red Sally Hansen color. And it just kind of creates a really pretty glittery dark red color that I really like. I think it goes very well. Then I'm going to take my white nail art brush and I'm going to take you gotta wipe off a lot of the excess. I don't recommend this brand. This is LA Colors, I think, and it's a really crappy brand. I don't recommend it at all, but it's not done. So, anyways, I'm going to create a <clears throat> diagonal stripe. And when I'm finished with that, I'm going to go back with my gold nail art brush. And the same thing, you're just going to want to make sure you wipe off a lot of the excess, but not too much, obviously. You still want color on your brush. And I'm going to line the outside of the um, red. And I'm going to also go and line the white line as well with the gold glitter. And please make sure that you let the gold glitter dry completely. Okay. Now that uh, my design is finished, I'm going to go back and put a couple of coats of China Glaze's Fast Forward Top Coat on top. 
And just make sure that your nail polish is completely dry before you do this because you don't want to spend all this time on this just to smear it down and have to redo it. It's really annoying. So it'll come out um, looking like this. And actually, if you look at <clears throat> the rest of my nails, I actually switched up the colors. I wanted them all different. I made some silver and red, some starting with red and ending in green, some starting with green ending in red. I wanted them all to be different because I just think it looks cuter. I think it um, is less boring and looks more like candy in my opinion. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can keep them all the same color. They come out looking like this when you're done. And I hope that you like it. All right.